Hi everyone, we are looking at the Battle Flex today. Uh, don't be alarmed if you see a cable coming off the top of it. That is simply because I've got it hooked up in a building to an antenna outside. You can see that's the normal cap there. In this video, I quickly just want to review how to record um, standalone logging. So you're not connected to a phone or a tablet. You're not using the Bad Elf Flex app. Uh, you just want to use the Flex itself to do some data collection. And so what we can do here is I just want to show you that I've got a GPS lock so you can see that green light. And if I hit the little uh, home for the icon of GPS settings, you can see that we are currently getting uh, 31, uh, roughly 32 centimeters. This is operating in standard mode with SBAS, and you can see here the different information just to show you that we are connected. Now, let's say I would like to take a point. You can do that a couple different ways. From the GPS screen, you can hit the center radio button. By clicking that, you'll see a, a window pop up for logging and you can either do a instant point. So if you wanna take a one second observation right where you are, you'd like to do a timed point for a predetermined amount of time, say 15 seconds. You wanna lo uh, log raw GCPs or ground control points. So say you're a drone person and you wanna collect some data uh, to do some photogrammetric processing back in the office. You can additionally start a track log if you'd like to do a breadcrumb trail or you can start a new project. So basically imagine a data repository bin uh, for each of your uh, uh, projects. You can, you can break that into your day depending on your task, etc. So if I want to take an instant point, I can then say log instant point. You can see there that it goes back to the screen. You heard a couple beeps and that means it registered the point. So the other way you can uh, log a point on the flex would be to go back to the main screen and not on the GPS and RTK information, but go down one, go to receiver logging functions. You can click that and you'll notice that you see a very similar menu for instant points, time points, GCPs, track logs, and new projects. So if I wanted to collect an instant point here, for an example, I can log an instant point. Also know that if you wanted to start a track log, for an example, or a raw GCP, you can be doing that while collecting points. So you can actually be uh, simultaneously collecting multiple locations of measurements.